Hi, and welcome to Rapid Immersion, where we discuss questions and topic areas within your digital marketing ecosystem. This week, how to show ads based on user behavior. So to start us off here, let's imagine that you're an advertiser who is running campaigns for search and remarketing using Google AdWords. Now, your search campaigns are performing really well, and your coverage is excellent. All the converting terms that you would like to show up for, you do. And on the remarketing side, your campaigns are doing a fine job of keeping your brand in front of visitors who've previously been to your site uh, by serving these users' ads as they browse relevant content online. So you're looking, for, you're looking at the results and you're thinking, OK, this is working. What more can be done here? What other opportunities do I have? Well, now would probably be a good time to further explore display outside of remarketing. So reaching people who may not have been to your website yet, but might be interested in your ad. And one way to do this is with in-market audience targeting. OK, so what is in-market audience targeting? In-market audience targeting is a setting that allows you to serve an ad to somebody who's exhibiting a particular behavior or set of behaviors that signal they're in-market. So according to Google, to qualify someone as being in-market for a specific product or a service, Google takes into account clicks on related ads, subsequent conversions, along with the content of the sites and pages people are visiting, and the recency and frequency of those visits. So in-market audiences are people who are temporarily interested in a topic, which are made available for you to target if you'd like to. Now, the thinking here is that if somebody is in market for a particular product or a service, they're going to be more receptive to relevant ads, which is a win for the users. And for advertisers, this is another feature of the AdWords platform designed to help get the right people to see your ads at the right time while filtering out people who are going to be less likely to be interested. OK, so two things to keep in mind with in-market audiences. Um, the first one is that people are constantly entering into and exiting out of audiences. So new users will be joining and old users will be leaving based on their behavior. The second thing is that additional targeting layer layers can and I think definitely should be applied. For example, demographic info. So where might in-market audiences be a good fit? Well, let's look at a few examples. Let's say you're a company that provides home loans. You could create a campaign that targets men and women, perhaps age 35 and older, who live in Sydney and are in the in-market audience home purchase loans. Or perhaps you're a retailer of young women's clothing and you have a new summer range coming out. So you could target ladies between the ages of 18 and 34 across Australia who are in the women's clothing audience. Or lastly, perhaps you're a law firm who specializes in elder law and you have offices in Victoria. So you would be able to target people aged 55 and above who are parents who are in Victoria and are in the estate planning audience. And there are many other pre-made audiences to choose from with more being added all the time by Google. So to wrap up here, if in-market audiences are something that you would like to explore, you'll find the settings to do so in the Display Network tab of your AdWords account. And if you'd like some further reading on, reading on the topic, um, we've got some additional links to check out in the post that accompanies this video. So thank you very much for your time, and have a great day. Bye-bye.